yes, I am taking a great, and I can always get greater. And no, I don't want to be a teacher, teacher, because that's not enough paper. Bruh. Yo, it's covered by greatness, and Lil Wayne just announced that he's dropping No Ceilings 3, and I'm here for it. I really love Wayne's music, bruh. I grew up listening to him since a child, since like a baby. I was listening to Lil Wayne, the Carter. My mom used to bump that joint every day, so I'm here for it. No Ceilings was my favorite project by him. No Ceilings 2 was kind of eh, but I feel like he's going to bounce back with this one. I heard a few snippets and it sounded fire. Like DJ Khaled and Fat Joe just previewed a snippet of one of his songs like maybe 30 minutes ago. And it was over the Jay-Z takeover beat so i guess that's him saying he's about to take over so this album has no choice but to be fire it has to be fire by default just because he used that beat <laughs> alone people want to cancel lil wayne just because he supported trump but i don't really care about that because he said that like he doesn't even believe in black lives matter and all lives matter so with him i just separate the artist from the from the music like i separate the person he is in real life from the artist because he's one of the greatest rappers of all time and nobody can take that from him he's my number one my top five is Wayne, Hove, Jadakiss, DMX, and probably Biggie. Y'all should let me know y'all top five greatest rappers of all time in the comments. But to get back on subject, once this No Ceilings 3 drops, I'll probably do a review on it and give it like something out of 10, like a 5 out of 10, a 9 out of 10. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what y'all want me to talk about next. I'm out.